All glories to Amrita and Danvantari, the Supreme Divine Healers. Welcome to this new video about Integral Harmony Communication. And today we are going to talk about communication that blocks compassion, which in other terms means it's a kind of tamasic expression. So that would be life and love alienating communication, which disconnects us from life and love. Let us see what it is. Certain ways of communicating alienate us from our natural state of compassion and trap us in a world of ideas about rightness and wrongness, a world of judgments. Our attention is focused on classifying and analyzing and determining levels of wrongness, which may be helpful at times, but not always, rather than on what we and others need and are not getting. I personally believe that violence comes because of how we were educated, not because of our nature. And education, of course, goes back also to previous lives and therefore we bring these impressions into this life and then we get a further reinforcement of that. We have been educated in a way that proposes violence to be enjoyable. You can think of many examples. This kind of education aims to disconnect us from our compassionate nature, which is an aspect of the self, which is always there but it's covered by these different concepts. It started long ago with distorted myths about human nature that framed humans as basically evil and selfish. And that the good life is heroic forces crushing evil forces. And we think we have to emulate that in our private life as well. We've been living under this destructive mythology for a long time and it comes complete with a language that dehumanizes people and turns them into useful objects. Or it aims to turn the people into useful objects. We have learned to mainly think in terms of moralistic judgments of one another. We were trained to have a judgmental consciousness associated with words like right, wrong, good, bad, selfish, unselfish. And connected to these judgments is a concept of justice based on what we deserve. So, before I go into that, I would like to say that the words right, wrong, good, bad, selfish, unselfish they are not necessarily useless, but the way we associate them with uh, concepts of deserve and punishment for the idea of changing the person's behavior, that is the problem. And we could go much deeper into that, but I think that will make the video too long. Let's see what's in the next bit of the paragraph. So. If you do bad things, you deserve to be punished. If you do good things, you deserve to be rewarded. That's the questionable idea here. Unfortunately, we have been subjected to this consciousness, this incomplete education for a long, long time. I think that's the core of violence on our area of the greater Earth plane. So, In the world of judgments, our concern is on who is what. So, um, basically, there is a divine nature and if we follow that divine nature which is our soul nature 
or eternal nature, then we will be naturally compassionate, loving, fair, kind, and all these nice things. But if someone behaves contrary to their own divine nature, that can be categorized as wrong in the sense that it's not true to their nature. But the question, the main question of this whole subject that we are presenting here today, discussing, is that let's say person A is going against their own loving nature and now person B who has been educated in an incomplete way thinks okay I have to also go against my divine nature and treat the person with punishment which is of course not loving and kind to get the person to come back to their loving and compassionate kind nature and um, I think that's how to say um, the crooks or the core of the problem so instead if we focus on the the pain that's behind the wrongdoing or the pain behind the unkind behavior the need which is behind the pain and so on we can try to find ways by being compassionate and understanding to evoke the divine eternal loving nature of the person that we previously thought needs to be punished and of course it goes also the other way around for um, the one who we think uh, deserves praise and uh, how to say good treatment because they were behaving nicely so it's a very vast topic and we could of course go much deeper into it and maybe I will do that another time at another place but of course your comments and questions are most welcome so we can learn divine harmony communication together so please also check the comments subscription for further links please help the channel get around the shadow banning by liking and subscribing and commenting and sharing for the benefit of all may the um love be with you jai shri radhe shyam